Ah, Pablo's Cheese Tart. Guys, if you see this sign anywhere in Japan, you stop. You immediately stop what you're doing and you go enjoy a cheese tart. For starting at 290 yen, these cheese tarts don't get any better than this. I tell you what. Look at that. Strawberry cheese tart? No problem. Matcha cheese tart? Sure. Why not? I love this place. So, they also have sets. If you want to try every single one of them. Uh, so I bought the set. The six piece set to try for you. Now let's do a quick little review. Pablo's cheese tart babies. There it is. We brought home a set. We got the set of six. I'm going to pop this bad boy open from here. I'll show you guys what's inside. Let's pop this open. The great reveal. And there we go. Two layers. We have original. Over here. We have brulee, which is a nice creme brulee on top. We got the matcha one that has toasted matcha on top. You can see it's a little toasted. Strawberry. This one's one of our favorites. What's the other one? Chocolate. Ah, milk chocolate. Over here. And last but not least, tiramisu. This one's a brand new one we haven't tried. So I'm gonna set these back up in the little box that they came in, and we're going to keep them in order. Number one, the original. Pablo's original cheese tart. There we go. First bite. Mmm. Rich, creamy, flaky, falls apart completely. Nice sharp hit of cheesecake there. Incredible. Can't be beat. Now I'm only eating half of each one of these because the other half's for cat, obviously. On to the creme brulee. Here it is. Pablo's creme brulee cheesecake. Mmm. If you like creme brulee, you're gonna love this. They blow torch, they blow torch that sugar on there until it crystallizes. And man, oh man, is that incredible! The crunch on this. Mm. It bites back a little bit. I love it. Ma matcha. Pop this open. There we go. Mm. I wasn't expecting that. It's completely matcha the whole way through. There's still a little bit of the cheese click. <laughs> The cheesecake flavor, but there's the slight bitter taste and the notes of sweetness and umami from tea. If you like green tea, you'll be a fan of this one. I'm a little taken back by this one. I definitely don't like it as much as the other ones, but I'm a fan of green tea. 
strawberry. Look at that. The strawberry Pablo cheese tart. Hmm. Bright red. Bright, bright red. Got a thick layer of strawberry jam on top of the original cheese tart. Mm. Now the original one's fantastic. Put jam on there. This would be a perfect breakfast. This and a nice coffee. 10 out of 10. Milk chocolate. So this is a flavor I've yet to try. That looks pretty good. There you go. It's got a nice little swirl of milk chocolate on top. Bite into this. Hmm. So you can def definitely taste the milk chocolate. It's really nice and melted on top of the whole thing. It's really, really good. I'm trying to pinpoint what chocolate it tastes like. I would say it's it's closer to like a Hershey's milk bar on top. And then you have the classic cheese in the middle. That's really good. And last but not least, the tiramisu. Look at that. It's got a nice powder on top of it. Let's try it out. There you go. Give it a little tap. Mmm. Mmm. The taste of the espresso on top is really nice. And it's not like overpowering or anything. Mm. I like mascarpone and sugar and cocoa powder. I really like that one too. But which one is best? I'll give you a quick power ranking in my opinion. And then Kat will give you her power ranking thereafter. Number one for me would have to be the creme brulee. Now this one is a classic for us. It was the first one that we tried. And the reason I fell in love with Pablo. Second, I'll give it to the strawberry one. It's the equivalent of the cheese tart up here, which is the OG. So... This, just layer strawberry jam, better for breakfast. Next, I'm gonna have to give it to the tiramisu. Tiramisu caught me off guard, fantastic, not overpowering. Also, these two, great for breakfast. Then I would say the chocolate one was kinda nice. And lastly, the matcha. Now the matcha, the reason why I didn't like it as much I was expecting just a thin layer of matcha and then cheesecake inside. I got all matcha. So there you have it, my power rankings. Hello everyone, time for my review of what my favorite ones are, in which order. Starting strong, I think it's the same one as Kevin, it's the creme brulee. It's just got the perfect amount of creme brulee topping and crunch and the regular cheesecake on the inside so that's number one number two is the plain classic gotta keep it traditional we love the og in third spot we have and this was a tight third and fourth spot but in third is the strawberry creme brulee followed by the tiramisu which surprisingly um i really enjoyed i was a bit skeptical because of like the whipped 
tiramisu part of it. I thought it would be too much, but it works really well with the cheesecake. Um, then we're gonna finish it off with the milk chocolate, and then I'm sad and a little disappointed in the matcha one. So I have to place that one last. I love matcha, but unfortunately, it doesn't belong in the cheesecake for me personally. So there you have it. That's my ranking. That's what I think. I don't know if it's the same as Kevin's, but I'm pretty sure we have similar ones in a similar spot. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Oh, did you like that video? Maybe you'll like some of our other videos. We have more Japanese content coming up over here. And we'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.